Look at this jewelry box. It's so vintage. Wood and glass with a mirror. Oh, it's got something on the bottom. I wonder what it says. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Friday night, I just pulled into Goodwill. I've got about an hour before they close. I'm excited to see what I can pick up. I've now got to stock my booth as well as selling on eBay and showing you all what I thrift. Oh, I wanted to show you my beautiful earrings again from Chapter 2 Vintage. I have gorgeous earrings and a matching pendant. Alex and Aaron at Chapter 2 Vintage. Beautiful jewelry. Thank you again. Um, Let's go thrifting. So my dear friend Danny the Niche Lady and I have started an exciting new adventure together. We are sharing a booth at the fantastic vintage market in the fantastic indoor swap meet here in Vegas. The vintage and antiques market happens on the third weekend of every month, Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 6. Danny and I have a 20 by 10 booth space and we showcase and sell our antiques, our vintage collectibles, uh, we have furniture, we have gifts, we have all kinds of things, many of which you see us thrift here at Goodwill. If you live in Vegas or if you're visiting Vegas, we would love it if you'd come down and see us at our booth. Take a look around and see if there's an old treasure that you'd love to give a brand new home to. Look at this precious cat teapot. It has the look of a laurel birch, but I don't think it is. It's a little cat angel. She looks very serious. It's just adorable. I'm definitely going to grab this. That's a good start. I really like this little dish, but unfortunately it's got a massive chip on the side. That's a shame. I like the colors of this. It's very Eastery, but it's quite lightweight. I'm gonna leave it. Here's a leaf. I always check leaves for crate and barrel ones because they sell quite well. Oh, I like this Mexican pottery. It's a little trinket box. It's $1.99. Definitely going to grab this. Oh, I like these coasters. It's a stack of six. They're ceramic with cork bottoms. They're $3.99. They say love, which is popular in of itself, but also um, with the reference to the Beatles which are very popular at the moment. I've sold glasses, um, t-shirts. That's a good find. Let's see what else here. It's a sunflower wreath, lots of candles. It's a spoon rest. It's quite modern. A glass trinket dish. Always check the candles for good brands, Bath and Body Works, the vases, it's made in China. This is a little leprechaun figurine. I think it's Finnegan's. Yep, you can see the little plaque there. $3.99, I'll put this aside for St. Patrick's Day. It's a bag of marbles. I like to use marbles in my glass Christmas tree display at Christmas. I um, put them in with ornaments and they catch the light really nicely. So I'll take those. Oh, 
more candles candle holders I'm on the lookout for glassy baby which is really popular at the moment and go they go for great money it's a little grape candle I'm in the plates here just having a look I like this look it says fireside thrift it's an ashtray I never see that it's an actual thrift store ashtray definitely gonna take that that's really fun like this owl he's modern and uh, mass-produced he'd be good for Halloween except he's very chippy unfortunately it's a project jug I like the cats on it little shade Oh, look at this skull. My son, Jake, he's seven. He loves skulls. So I'm going to pop this in the cart and it's, it'll be a great stocking stuffer for Christmas. Lots of clear glass. Oh, there's a little jug here. Often these have um, drip glaze on them and uh, they're samples, so in that case I would pick it up but that one's a bit plain it's always so much clear glass I really wish it was more popular it's getting there it's more popular than it was but um, everybody still likes the colored glass we're going into the Easter stuff here some lights this egg basket still here oh look at this nativity it's a light a little nativity scene with a plug-in light on a rocker switch it's got a few scrapes on the back there but that's all right I'm gonna plug it in and make sure that it works but other than that, that's a great find. Lots of Easter stuff. It's a little vase. Some little Valentine's hearts there. Oh, look at this gravestone. It's a skull. I bet that lights up with batteries. That'll be fun, I'll take that. This looks like Pioneer Woman. Let's see, it's a Christmas container. Lovely tree, nice and colorful. Yep, Pioneer Woman, $3.99. I can put that down at the booth. That'll be great for November, December. Let's see. Oh, look at these little carrots, they're lovely. They're perfect little Easter accents. I'll take those. 69 cents. What else? There's some black rabbits. I don't know about those. Oh, look at these. These look like peeps. Peep bunnies. They're fun. I'll take those. Anything else? Look at these carrots. They're candles. $1.99. I'll put these aside for Easter too. I love this sign. Bar open. It's really vintage. It's wood. It's got a battery light inside. I think that was added much later. This is a great piece. I really like it. Some more signs. Oh, this is a great um, hat rack or mud, mug rack. These are very popular. $4.99. I can either use this at the booth or resell it. This would be useful too. Little black dish for good for Halloween display. $2. Oh, 
I think it's target. Yeah, I'll take that. There's another one. Also a dollar ninety-nine. Can put little bits and bobs, odds and ends, or snacks, or trinkets, or um, holiday display pieces, candles. Look at this gorgeous mercury glass tree. I think it lights up. Yeah, it's got a battery. One ninety nine. I love that. a coca-cola polar bear but it looks like he's missing something he was holding I'm gonna pass on that lots and lots of Christmas bits cards and bags and oh bags I need bags for the booth let's see these would be great for customers making purchases I can wrap things in tissue and pop them in a Christmas bag there's two stacks. I'll take both of those. That's great. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I love vintage glass ornaments. I love these silver ones in particular, but I have so many of them. I'm really torn. They're only $1.99, but honestly, I have to stop. <laughs> this is a cute little ladybug basket. I think my daughter's just a bit too old for this one, but if she wasn't, I'd get it. They've got stocking hangers and wreaths oh that reminds me i have to check in with michael at the cult of vintage he makes the most amazing vintage christmas wreaths look at these knobs they look like mercury glass they're gold oh i can't resist these i know i'll find a use for them sooner or later Look at these Christmas glasses. I think they're etched. They've got Christmas trees and stars on them. And they've got um, colored bases, striped bases too. They're really nice. There's a set of, there's a set of six. Oh, that's fantastic. Sometimes you're lucky enough to find a set of four glasses, but six is really great. They're really nice quality. They're quite delicate, so I'm going to have to be quite careful with my cart. These are a good find. These are those little vintage window candles. And vintage ribbon too. People will decorate with these boxes just as they are. Use them as risers for ornaments. Let's see what else. Boxes of cards. Lots of wrapping. Dishes and plates and mugs. So many things. Well, these are quite nice. Etched trees. They're one ninety nine each though. I just ran into my sweet subscriber Mary and she found me this gorgeous daffodil vase. Thank you so much Mary. It was lovely to see you.
This is a vintage coffee grinder. It's a bit worse for wear. It looks like someone's taped the drawer in the wrong way around. It's $7.99. Oh, but I really like it for display. I'm going to splurge. Let's put it in the bottom of the cart here so it doesn't scratch anything. I love these clear etched vases. They're so delicate and lovely with just a single stem in them. see another one here too let's put this one in the cart there we go where did it go oh, there it is let's move these out of the way carefully it's very similar I think this one isn't as fluted at the top they're only 99 cents. You really can't go wrong with that. It's a pretty blue vase. It's huge though. That's a modern planter. Oh, that's a pot. Yes, it is a pot. <laughs> Stripey ones. It looks like the cat in the hat. And that's flash glass. You can see it scratched off at the bottom there. There's some veggies and fruits. Oh, these are interesting. They're just uh, decorator pieces. You pop them in a bowl or a basket there. I like those, I'm going to take them. They'll do well at the booth, I think. Lots of florals. Let's see, some more fillers. This is a California pottery tidbit dish. I really like it. Unfortunately, I'm seeing it's quite chippy. I'm quite torn because I really want to save it. I think I'm going to put it in my cart and think about it. This is an Italian little cream of sugar set. It doesn't really excite me. Not sure what's going on here. Don't think that goes to that. <laughs> Little strawberry pitcher. Nothing super exciting. What's this bowl here? No, it's a bit chipped up again. This is a marble base for a cheese uh, dome. Unfortunately, the dome is nowhere in sight. I'll have to keep an eye out for it, though. Look at this bunny. Oh, my goodness. He's so cute. Little bunny jug. I'll have to take him. I like this, too. It's a green glass pasta jar. I think it's Italian. Nice thick glass um, wire ceiling canister. $2.99. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you what I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Again, lots and lots of clear glass. It's quite a nice little bowl, but there's just not enough profit in it for me. Just 
just seeing over here there's a snow globe it's got penguins in it oh it's 2.99 and unfortunately the penguins base is lifting up there and there would be no way to fix that you see look it's lifted up would be a nice piece if it wasn't for that. I love these shot glasses. Like Mexican little shot glasses. They're all different heights. Blue rims. They're only 69 cents each. That's a great set. I'm going to grab them. Oh, it's getting a bit precarious to be careful wheeling it. Let's see what else they have. I love this green color. I'm going to grab that. And this is a huge El Himador tequila shot glass. That's fun. What else? Ooh, look at these Blendo martini glasses. I love the colors. I'm gonna come back for those. Just gonna have a quick look, see if there's any more. When people have Blendo sets, they quite often have sets of different kinds of glasses. But I think I'm going to have to rearrange my cart. All rearranged. Look at these hanging bells. There's a set of three of them. There's two hearts and then there's a cross. I don't know if you can see that. But oh my goodness, these are amazing. They're vintage. What a great find. $7.99. Look at this jewelry box. It's so vintage. Wood and glass with a mirror. Oh, it's got something on the bottom. I wonder what it says. From the shop of Carl Costa, KK 1977. Just going back and having one more look through the shelves. See what else they might have put out. Look at this box. It looks Russian. I don't know how I missed this the first time. $3.99. It's made in the USSR. It's hand painted and lacquered. It's a great find. Prior to this trip, I had a bit of a phone malfunction and lost footage of almost an entire shopping trip. I was able to save about five minutes worth, so I thought I'd pop it on at the end of this as a bonus. Let's see what they have. Oh, these look like Fitz and Floyd bunnies. No, they just look like Fitz and Floyd. They're not actually. They are nice though. Hmm. I have to have a think about those. So Christmas balls. Some angels. Oh, look at these curtain paws. They're ties. They're tie backs. Grab these. These are really quite expensive if you go to buy them new. They're a great color. Let's pop those in the cart. What's in this baggie? Some little figures, little animals. Don't think they're salt and peppers. I'm going to leave those. It's a plate. Somebody's phone case. It's fancy. What 
lots of candles. Candle holders. A bag of rocks. That's interesting. <laughs> The cat. Oh, he's very lightweight and cheap. Oh, look at this fox. He's great. He's great for Halloween. He's gold. Three ninety nine. He's in great shape. No chips or cracks. I'll take him. Plates. This plate's got a green swirl. That's quite nice. Glass and tiles. Some clowns. Let's see. Lots of clowns. Halloween stuff. Oh, look at this raven. Is it a raven or a crow? Probably a crow. I think ravens are much bigger. He's a great Halloween decorator piece. I'll take him. He can sit with the fox. Look at this bunny. She's got a bit of a stained back paw. The carrot's a bit worse for wear, but 99 cents, I'll rescue her. Look at this lacquer box, $2, it's got a fish on it. Charles Marchand. What's inside? Oh, some bunnies inside, that's really unique. I'll grab that for $2. See what we can find in Easter. Ooh, look at these. It's vintage writing. Oh, they're Halloween candles. Look at those. They're great. A pumpkin, a cat, a witch. Only $2. I'm definitely going to grab those. Oh, look at these. These are great decorator pieces for Halloween. Put those at the back of a display. Add some height. And they're green tag, which means they're only a dollar. Let's get those in the cart. There we go. I like this pumpkin. It's just a simple little Halloween pumpkin ceramic for a tea light. $1.99. It's nice vibrant colors. Really fun. Just a reminder that September's fantastic vintage market is the third weekend of September. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. September 17th, 18th and 19th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Here on my very full table is everything I brought home from Goodwill. And here is your weekly visit with Bandit.
first we have these gorgeous decorative curtain tie backs they're silky material and wood they're twisted at the top the matching they were $2.99 a piece and I value them at $15 each this is a little Irish figurine it's the Finians. It has a little medallion at the front that says Luck of the Irish. And there's two little leprechauns um, peering from behind a castle. Actually, there's three of them. These are really collectible, very sought after, and I expect one of this size to bring about $50. I paid three ninety nine. This was a great find. It's a gorgeous nativity light. It's on a rocker light switch. The detail and the paint color is amazing. I'm not really sure of its age or brand. It appears to be quite vintage. And I shall have this at our fantastic vintage market booth for $50. This is a really vintage wooden mug or hat rack. It's expandable. These are very popular. I paid, I think I paid $4.99 and I value it at $20. I was very excited to find this sign, bar open. It's a vintage wooden box and it has inside a modern little push on and off light which lights it up really nicely. I'm actually going to hold on to this for a while, just enjoy it, but it might pop up on my eBay in the future. I found this stack of six, I think they're either ceramic or, yes I think they are, ceramic coasters. They're all the same, they say love. I paid $3.99 for the six and I value them at $20. I found these two gold and black orb decorative ornaments in a baggie. They were $2.99 and I have them resting in the two black wood display trays I found for $1.99 each. I think these would look perfect at our booth as part of our Halloween display. I found this beautiful Russian hand-painted lacquered box. It's marked on the back, made in USSR. I'm a bit worried about uh, removing this tape that Goodwill put all around the box, but with any luck I'll be able to remove it without causing any damage. I paid $3.99 for it and these sell on eBay for upwards of $50. I found a similar lacquered box. It's not Russian though. I believe it's decoupage on lacquer. The inside has a couple of bunnies. The outside there's a flower, a fish, some more flowers on the end. On the bottom is written Charles Marchant, Marchant. I think this might have been somebody's very sweet project. I paid $1.99 and I shall ask $20. In the holiday section I found several adorable little Easter decorations. 
these candles in the shape of carrots were $1.99. These little wrapped um, string carrots, 69 cents. This really sweet little bunny. She needs some TLC. She's got a stained back paw and her little carrot needs re-sewing at the top there. But she was only 99 cents and I couldn't leave her behind. I also found these sweet little bunnies. They're pastel colors and they're glittery and they look like peeps to me. So I thought all of these would be really fun either at our vintage market booth at Easter or as part of my display at home. I found these two finials on sale for a dollar. I believe they're just meant to be decorative pieces and I thought they'd be really fun to give height to somebody's Halloween display. Many people collect vintage Christmas ribbon. These are three packages, new in the box, new in the packet. They were $2.99. And people use these just as is, as a display piece, or possibly as a riser to put Christmas ornaments on top. Also in the Christmas section, I found two little window lights. They're by Trim a Tree. They were 99 cents and they look really fun in the window at Christmas time. They will sell those for between 12 and $15 a piece. I also found this Pioneer Woman Christmas cookie box. It's a plastic box with a lid. It was $3.99 and I'm thinking it will do well down at the booth for between $10 and $15. I really liked this bunny picture. It's not branded or marked but the little bunny is so sweet. I paid $3.99 and I'm going to keep this for my Easter collection. This little teapot is a little angel cat. She has the look of a laurel birch piece, but she's not marked. She was $3.99 and I value her at between $20 and $25. I picked this crow up just as a little decorator piece for our booth and then probably for my home. It's quite fun. He was $1.99. I loved this gold fox. I've never seen one of these before. He's very mid-century. He's got quite pointy sharp features. He's ceramic painted. He was $3.99 and I shall ask $20 to $25 for him. This is a wire sealed pasta jar that has pasta on one side. It's nice thick green glass. I would say it's made in Italy. I paid $2.99 for it and I shall ask $20. I found this beautifully etched glass Bud vase for 99 cents. 
These look really pretty with just a single stem. I like to combine them with milk glass and cobalt glass of different heights. Actually really pretty for a winter display. I like to use those colors in January. And uh, I should probably list this for 20 to 25. I found a set of six of these beautiful etched and painted Christmas glasses. They have pine trees in the snow with stars, stripy bottoms. They were 99 cents each. There's a set of six of these. And I shall take them down to our vintage market booth at Christmas time. While I'm up here, I found this very fancy, fancy hat. It's purple and blue. It's uh, three ninety nine, and I just need a dress to go with it. This is a humongous El Himador tequila shot glass. It's just massive. I thought I'd pick it up for a fun item to have at the booth. It was 99 cents and I will probably price it at $12. This is a set of Mexican glass shot glasses. They're clear with cobalt blue tops. I like them because they're all different heights and you can either use them as shot glasses or possibly as little vases be really pretty with flowers in. They were 69 cents each and I shall probably list the set for 25 to 30 dollars. I love this color as many of you know it's sort of this avocado green glass it's very vintage I just can't resist this color with 69 cents and this will probably go in my collection either as a display or as a little vase. These glasses are called Blendo. They're painted pastel colors that fades into clear and they have a gold rim on top. My table's really full, but I actually found five of these. There's two of the salmon color, two of the purple, the mauvey purple color, and one green. I've been on the lookout for another green, but so far it hasn't surfaced. I'm wondering if it had an accident either <laughs> before it got to Goodwill or at Goodwill. But I shall keep hunting. Meanwhile, um, I shall probably take these down to the booth and sell the set of five for $25. This was a little Mexican pottery trinket box. It initially had Ensenada Mexico across there, but uh, as I was washing it to remove the tape residue, the letters actually came off. So it is now just a unmarked little Mexican pottery trinket box. It's glazed, it's very pretty. It's also glazed inside. I paid $1.99 for it and I shall probably ask $20. This was a very unique piece. It's an ashtray and it looks like it has a phoenix coming out of an egg on it. Fireside Thrift. I paid $2.99 for it. And I need to do a little bit more research to see if I can find out where Fireside Thrift is or was and whether or not they're still in business.
This was probably my best find of the day. A set of three vintage wrought iron and cowbell wind chimes. These are very, very collectible, very sought after. There's two hearts and a cross. And these sell, I've sold these before, they sell upwards of 50, 60, 70 dollars. Last but not least, I just wanted to show you what I do at Christmas time with my glass trees that I'm so fond of picking up at Goodwill. This one has some golden red pine cones combined with glittery ornaments inside. This one has different marbles in. When there's a light behind the marbles they just reflect light beautifully. And I wanted to say thank you to the subscriber who sent me this beautiful little Sylvester Christmas tree. These are my very favorite of the trees I collect. This one is clear with a green ribbon running through it, made by Sylvester. And somebody sent this to me. They wish to remain anonymous. But thank you, thank you so very much for thinking of me. I'll treasure it and it will go into my forest on display at Christmas time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the haul. If you see something you're interested in, please send me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I'll see you next time. Bye. This is my other cat, Ziggy, who's not too fond of the camera, are you, Zig?